Yes, now bless now Dolph getting rest now Des Rock steady at King of the Pit TV sign here. We're gonna learn a little bit about fob today. As I said, not the fob on your keys, you silly sausage. Fallout boy, it's an abbreviation, all right. So we're gonna have a little deek at this moment in time doing this particular video. What you're watching right now, I've heard the debut record, which is entitled "Take This to Your Grave," and then I've now heard from Under the Cork Tree. There's been a great development in both of them. Uh, but I'm not going to talk about them to a great extent. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the early history of Fallout Boy and we're going to continue onwards as we listen to each and every record. So let's have a little deek. Thank you for being present first and foremost and let's jump straight in. So um, as always, it is Wikipedia. So if there's any comments you want to make in regards to the information, whether you disagree or you do agree or you want to elaborate, let me know. So uh, the American rock band Fallout Boy. So... It's nice that they're called a rock band as opposed to a pop punk band. Of course, at this point, I'm sure they've uh, developed their sound into a more rock orientated space. But um, I've only listened to the second record and I was starting to say this. This is I'd classify that as rock as opposed to pop punk. So they've released eight studio albums at this point, two live albums, two compilation albums, eight EPs. Eight EPs is a lot to say they've just started churning out the uh, studio albums. 32 singles and 47 music videos. Wow. 47 music videos. Since their formation in 2001, Fallout Boy have sold over 8.5 million albums worldwide. And some estimates are around 30 million. I wonder why it states they've sold 8.5, but estimates are around 30 million. What you want about? I've never come across that before. The band was formed in Wilmette, Illinois by friends Joe Troman and Pete Wentz. Who's Joe then? He's an American music musician, singer and record producer. He is known as the lead guitarist and backing vocalist, the American band Fort Boy. You know this guy, Joe, he's never referenced in the comments, but I always get him and Pete Wentz confused. I get I get them too confused. Who have played in local Chicago hard, hardcore punk and heavy metal projects. Um, Patrick Stump was soon recruited as the band's lead singer. They debuted with the split EP, Project Rocket slash Fallout Boy. Anybody aware of Project Rocket? It was released uh, by Uprising Records in 2002. It was the first official release for both bands. The split EP has sold 25,000 uh, copies as of 2008. Interesting. And the mini LP, Fallout Boy's Evening Out With Your Girlfriend. It's the debut mini LP and the second extended play by American rock band Fallout Boy. Right. I've seen the artwork of that before, but I completely bypassed that. Both released on Uprising Records, it's, uh, which is a record label founded in '94 by Sean Mataki. It's released uh, records by Fallout Boy, Seven Angels, Seven Plagues, which is a hard metal core band. Cypher, Red Knife, Lottery, Underminded, I mean, bloody, 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 I don't know them what. Uh, Seven Angels, Seven Plagues stuff. Worth checking out if you like metal core, like back to basics, hardcore metal music. Um, after the release of the latter, Drummer Andy Hurley joined Fallout Boy. So let's have a quick dig of Andy Hurley. Uh, the, the, he is still... Yeah, so they, Fallout Boy have stood strong. They're still performing with the same four piece, right? Which is incredible all of this time. Uh, you know, bands that have that longevity tend to do well. Because they, they, they have a great chemistry with each other. They might fall out a little bit, but you know what I mean? That's part and parcel of being so close to people. After signing to indie label Fueled by Ramen, which. Uh, who owned Fueled by Ramen? He teamed up with the less than Jake drummer lyricist Vinny. Who's John Janik? American record executive. 2004, Fallout Boys Pete Wentz introduced Fueled by Ramen to fellow Chicago pop outfit The Academy Is, who released there. You know what? I swear people told me that there was a band member who was behind that band, but it seems not. Fall Out Boy released their first full-length studio album, Take This To Your Grave, in May 2003. Following the album's release, the band signed with major label Island Records. Their second studio album, From Under The Cork Tree, was released uh, in May 2005 to great commercial success, peaking at number 9 on the US Billboard 200 and being certified double platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America, which is the RIAA. 
This album's popularity was aided by the success of its first two singles, Sugar We're Going Down and Dance Dance, which both became top 10 hits on the US Billboard Top 100 and sold um, over 200 million downloads each, which is a lot of money back then. Uh, Dance Dance, you still hear today, here, there and everywhere. Sugar We're Going Down, not as much so. So we've got relatively uh, limited information uh, as far as the history is concerned. So what we can do is we can jump straight into the debut record um if we can find it take this to your grave which we have a lot of information on we have a lot of information on so uh i'll see you on the flip side when we jump into that one people all right 